morning. What a day yesterday was. The guys, they double teamed again on Caribou. We spotted two bulls early in the morning. We made a stalk on them, got there late in the afternoon. They put the hammer down on both of them, give them the old hornady handshake, and that was that. So we've got a bit of a day today. We're gonna go and try and pack out. We've got a day and a half to do it before Cole's gonna come in and fly the meat out. So we've got a bit of a day. All is good. We've had a bit of weather last night, a bit of rain, but nothing too bad. So all is looking good. So it's day three of the hunt. Yesterday was pretty epic. Two really good shots, about 130 yards, two big bulls down. It was quite late in the afternoon, so we headed out there, took the guts out of the animals, and now we need to go back and pack them out. I cooked last night, so I had plenty of decent food inside us and a really nice, restful night's sleep. So today, we've got a lot to do. There's two decent sized bulls out there. They're uphill, so it's not going to be too bad getting up there because we'll have empty packs, but bringing them back is going to be slightly tricky. The ground is undulating, plenty of rocks underfoot, so it's going to be tough. So Mark and Wildy are going to do the knife work, and me, as usual, uh, is going to be doing the packing. Hopefully we can get it all back down here today, because Cole's hoping to fly in tomorrow early in the morning and pick up the two balls. The weather still looks pretty nice. There was some rain last night, so it sounds heavier in the tent than it is in reality, but uh, it's freshened the place up and it's nice and brisk this morning. So, busy day ahead of us. We've had breakfast and we're all set to go. So, hopefully, we should get it all done today. Despite a good night's rest, we're still a little weary after yesterday's physical exertions. We use the Garmin InReach Explorer GPS unit to pinpoint the location of the bulls and choose the most advantageous route. We're expecting changeable weather conditions today and the wind is already starting to build. As we approach the carcasses, Steve spots a brief glimpse of a grizzly bear. I load my rifle just in case and circle around upwind of the bull. Our scent should push the bear on, but you must always take precautions when you're in between one of nature's most dangerous predators and what it may consider to be its dinner. With the coast clear, we set about our task for the day. This is not the first time we've packed out two caribou bulls at the same time, and we know exactly what's ahead of us. Steve and Mark get started with the knife work. All of the meat must be retrieved from the carcass before the skins and rack can be brought out. Steve is a master butcher and a wizard with a set of knives. Nothing of nutritional value will be left behind. It really is a pleasure to see this level of workmanship and it shows me just how much I still have to learn. With the first quarter packed and loaded, my work finally begins. It's around a mile back to camp as the crow flies, but closer to two miles when you take into consideration the ridges and ravines. The landscape is breathtakingly beautiful, but my focus is on making sure each step finds solid ground. The plan is to do the hard miles first and bring the meat down to the river about halfway back to camp. That way the final journeys will be along flatter ground. So with the first load dropped, it's back up the mountain for another, stopping briefly to shed some layers. With the pack detached, the Frontier Gear frame is super lightweight and perfect for retrieving big game, particularly when fitted with a meat shelf as you can see here. But the final climb back up the ridge still saps your energy and I'm glad of the chance to catch my breath. But Steve has been cracking on and my bull is almost completely stripped of meat and there are already a number of loads ready to go. The wild man loads me up and sends me back on my merry way. One minute sunshine, the next rain. The weather here is constantly changing, but we're all glad of the breeze, which keeps the incessant flies at bay. We're making good progress as we break for lunch, but get straight back onto it as time is now against us. We need to get all of the loads back to camp before nightfall as we know there's a grizzly bear lurking not far away. Okay. I continue my packing as Steve moves on to help Mark finish his bull. This really is a team effort with everyone playing their part, working to their strengths. Mark is caping his bull for a shoulder mount. This is a delicate and time consuming process, being careful not to cut through the glands, eyelids and leaving enough skin for the taxidermist to work their magic. With all of the meat now stripped from the carcasses, we set about moving the last loads back to camp. 
We're all pretty tired, but working together makes the load seem lighter and brightens our spirits. Every step we take is one closer to home. By the time we reach the airstrip, we're moving at a pretty impressive pace. So it's been a pretty busy day. Wadi and Lades here have been busy on the knives, getting everything cut up and ready to pack out. We've brought a few loads back now, so I think we've got a fair pile of meat over there. But now it's the death march. It's about half past five, so we haven't got long. We need to get out there, pick up the last load of meat, pick up Mark's cape and rack, uh, my flat skin and rack, and then try and make it back out of Dodge uh, before sunset. Yeah, we've got a long walk. There's only one way to start, make the start. Wise words as usual from the wild man. He's a no-nonsense character with an incredible work ethic. He really is a rock when the going gets tough, and it's at times like this I rely on his strength. As we enjoy a brief respite, we have the opportunity to take in the magnificence of this environment. It may be brutal and uncompromising, but it's visually spectacular. This is the load I've been looking forward to for the whole day, the last one. The Frontier Gear pack frame is ideal for packing big game hides and horns, offering multiple strapping points suitable for pretty much any game species. And with our work complete, we leave Mother Nature to dispose of the bones and entrails. Nothing here goes to waste, and the circle of life continues. So I suppose that has to be called a, a pretty good day's work, do you think? Hard day's work when you've got two bulls down at the same time, you've got an awful lot of knife work and an awful lot of packing. And that's the great thing about having a guy like the wild man with you. He knows the anatomy of any animal inside and out, literally. <laughs> and uh, he wields Excalibur uh, like a work of art. So it was really impressive. Thank you ever so it's much, mate, for all of your no work. No worries, Absolutely. always. Absolutely. Oh, legendary. No worries, man. It's all good. So how did you find it today? It's been good. It's been hard. It's been really rewarding to shift two animals, two big animals like that, in one sitting. There's no I in team, is there? And if we'd have been individuals, we could never have done it. We've all worked together and we've got it done. We all do something different really well. And uh, obviously Mark wanted to keep his caribou out, so that's an art form in itself. Steve with his knife work, and I'm only good for carrying things. So if you just set to work together as a team, put the effort in, amazing things can be accomplished. And here it is now, you know, two beautiful bulls, all of the meat, and the hides, ready to go for coal when he comes first thing in the morning. So great experience, Mark. What's it like being on this side of it then? It's an odd feeling. You know, I've never been able to pull the trigger. I've always been pointing. Yeah. Now it's shifted to where I can share time with people I like and do what they like. Yeah, so when are you gonna go meet those then? <laughs> <laughs> so, but this must feel quite special, actually packing out your own animal rather than doing it for a client. Not that doing it for a client's not special, but... That's rewarding in itself, but to do this and be able to do it for myself, you know, I've been doing this for so long, yeah. and I've never had the time. You know, a guide hardly ever gets to hunt because they're always guiding. And now that I've been able to do this, it just... Uh, it still hasn't sunk in yet. Oh, okay, good. Well, you know, it's been a great pleasure for us to be part of the experience. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's quite an emotional time for us. Any time we go hunting, it's quite an emotional time, but to be there, you know, you're such good friends of ours. At your first, you know, Alaskan caribou yeah. kill, then it's, it's been a great yeah, experience for us too. So congratulations, man. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Shoot a smaller one next time. Yeah, I'll God, try. Now I've got to go and cook dinner, so. Yes, he has. The day is not finished yet. <laughs>